Welcome to another TrackerDub tutorial. Today I'll be demonstrating how to use the Import Members tool. First, go up to My Clubs and Groups on the top menu and click on Import Members. You will be directed to the Import Members tool. The first thing you must do is select the group you want to import your members into and type in a default password for your new members. The password must be at least eight characters long with one uppercase letter and one number. This will be the password that your members use when logging into TrackItUp for the first time. They will type in this password along with their email. If they would like to change their password, they can do so by clicking on the gear icon at the top right corner of the page next to their name and going to account details. After creating the default password for the new members, you can do one of two things. The tool allows you to upload a CSV file of your roster that you would like to import, or you can add members manually. To select your file, click Browse Files and select which file you would like to upload into the tool. Once the file has loaded, you can scroll down and select Next. Otherwise, if you'd like to add members manually, you can do so by putting a check mark in the box. You will then see your players listed in the table with the information that you imported from the file. If a user is highlighted in red, that means there is a duplicate email in your list. If any fields are highlighted in yellow, that means that they are required and must be filled out. For instance, name, gender, email, and club rating. You see in the table that the information I imported is faded in gray. Click on the drop down box and select name. You'll see now that my names in that column have been turned to black. I'm gonna do the same for gender, length of membership, membership cost, and now you'll see that there'll be an empty column and so I want to keep that on exclude because there's no information in that column that I would like to import. Make sure for rating that you select club rating. The club rating will be what determines which skill grouping A through E that your members get placed into. If you would like to add a USAPA rating, a self rating, you can do so, but you must add those fields in the membership setup before attempting to import them into that membership group. With that said, all the information that you wish to import must have a field created for it in the membership setup page before you go to the import members tool. An email highlighted in blue indicates that this member is already in Tracket Hub but has a different name than what is listed in the import. Hover the cursor over the highlighted email to view the name in Tracket Hub that is associated with this member. Before you can finish the import, you must change the name to match what is currently in the program. I will then go back to the field, click on the name, change the name so they match, and then click off the table. Once the name has been correctly changed and the email is no longer highlighted in blue, you can finish your import. If you'd like to add another player to this list in your import, you can do so by clicking Add Members Manually. A new row will appear, and to add the information in for a new player, all you must do is click in the column you wish to add information into. To delete a member out of this list, look to the left of their name and click Delete. If you are importing your players into a membership group and would like that player to show in the active list, representing that their membership dues have been paid, you must give that player a next due date, which is equivalent to an expiration date for their membership. In the drop down box, scroll down until you find next due date and make sure you type in a date that is in the future. Most clubs only offer annual or six month long memberships. So in my example, I'm gonna say that test user five paid for their membership dues on January 1, 2018. So in the next due date box, I'm gonna type in 01-01-2019 and click off the table. Now when this player is imported, they will have a next due date of January 1, 2019 and will show in the active list on my member admin table until their membership expires on January 1, 2019. If you would like to start over, you can do so by clicking Cancel Import, and that will direct you back to the main import page. Otherwise, once all your headings are selected 
and none of the fields are highlighted in yellow or red, select Finish Import. If you have any further questions, please contact me at Travis Cruz at trackadub.com or call me at 866-924-8006. This has been a Trackadub tutorial. Thank you for joining me.